Well, good afternoon, Democrats. Hello. Who's excited to win in 2016? I think that, um, you know, over the years, those of you who've been around a while and have been following politics for a long time, you've probably heard a politician at one time or another say, this is the most important election of our life. <laughs> And they probably meant it when they said it, but when you look at what's happening in our country today, over the past week, with Donald Trump, with the Tea Party, with these extremists, I truly believe that this is the most, election, most important election of our lifetime. I believe that this can be a great year for Democrats. I believe that we can win up and down the ballot. We've got great candidates for the state house, for local elections, <coughs> to take back Congress, to put another Democrat in the White House. But if we fail, the consequences will be great. If Donald Trump and David Young and these other extremists are allowed to carry out the agenda that they want, to put together a special task force to remove 11 million people from the country, to exaggerate what divides us, not what unites us, then our country will move significantly backwards. So the stakes are hot. The stakes are extremely hot. So what we need to do over the next, it's now less than four months away, if you can believe it. We've got to work 24-7 over the next three months and 29 days, or however many days it is, every single day, I need your help. These other Democratic candidates need your help. We need your support. We cannot take this for granted. We have to fight for every single vote. We have to fight for votes in heavily Democratic areas. We have to fight for votes in heavily Republican areas. Every single vote counts. We are at ground zero for the future of our country. We're very lucky. There's a lot of people who live in states where you know, they're safe Democratic, they're safe Republican, their representative of Congress isn't going to go anywhere. We live in a swing state. If Democrats carry Iowa for the president, we will have a Democratic president. Roll call on Thursday ranked our congressional race here in the 3rd District as one of the top 10 most likely seats in the country to change hands. Yeah. change the makeup of Congress. We've got an opportunity to take back the Iowa House and increase our majority in the Iowa Senate. The consequences of what we do and the results are huge. They're great. And the only people that can affect that are the people that are here today. The Republicans and their super PACs and all their dark money that comes from Wall Street and all these corporate political action committees, they can buy a lot of TV ads. They can buy a lot of TV ads. And they're going to buy a lot of TV ads. Then go and do that air war. But I'm, an, I'm an army guy, if you can't tell from my hat. I believe in the ground game. I believe that that's how we will win. Is people like you knocking on doors, making phone calls, talking to your friends, talking to your family and your coworkers, talking about what is at stake. And, and talking about the clear choice that voters have in this election. Democrats want to continue to move our country forward, and people who want to take our country backwards. I'm focused on my working families agenda, which is very similar to what you heard the other candidates here today. Talking about quality and affordable education. Talking about quality and affordable health care. Affordable child care. Increasing the minimum wage. Paid family and medical leave. All of these issues that impact every single working Iowa families. That's the, that's the choice that I'm presenting. On the other side, we have our current accidental congressman, David Young, who lied to the voters in 2014. He said he was a nice, moderate guy. He'd spent his whole career in Washington. He knew how to govern. But every single opportunity that he has had in Congress, he has sided with the Tea Party. He's voted seven times to repeal the Affordable Care Act. He's voted five times to defund Planned Parenthood. He's voted twice against the Equal Pay Act. There was a vote switching scandal about a month ago where there was an LGBT non-discrimination bill, an amendment on the floor. And the initial vote, it passed. And David Young voted for it, not to discriminate. And then the Republicans stopped the clock. They stopped the clock. 
And there's the C-SPAN video of Republican leaders going down to David Young and telling him to switch his vote. And he goes back and he switches his vote. <coughs> and it failed. David Young works for Washington insiders and Washington Republicans, not for the voters of Iowa. That's the clear choice. That's what's at stake. Please join my campaign. Please join all these other campaigns. Talk to Blair, who's the field director here in the 3rd District. Sign up. I need your help. I need your support. Let's keep fighting. Let's win and get the job done. Thank you.